it's Charlie Ann and we are back for another episode, but today we're gonna do something just a little bit different and make tiramisu. So we're gonna have homemade lady fingers with a light and fluffy cream and some really special coffee. One of the things that I'm super excited about about this show is that I get to showcase all of the businesses that I love and support. Today is all about Urban Dwellers Coffee. Urban Dwellers is a Seattle-based coffee company that is all about sustainability from farm to cup. Their organic beans trade few hands before they make it to your door, so you can be confident that those beans are as fresh as they get. This coffee smells so good, and we all know that the cakes don't make themselves, so your girl is fueled by this coffee. So check out their link in the description and make your first order, and now we are gonna get started. All right, to start off our tiramisu, I'm gonna start with our homemade lady fingers. So I'm going to take my sugar and the whole eggs, and I'm gonna cook it on a double boiler until it reaches 160 degrees. Obviously, we can all go and buy lady fingers just from the grocery store, but there's nothing like homemade ones, and these are pretty fun to make too. All right, so I am just mixing my eggs and sugar up over my double boiler just to cook the eggs so that we can eat them and dissolve the sugar. I'm just gonna keep stirring this so I don't end up with scrambled eggs. And then I'm gonna take the temperature and get it to 160 degrees before we move the next step. Now that my eggs and sugar are done cooking, I'm just gonna whip this on high until it's doubled in size. Now that my eggs and sugar have whipped, I am gonna take this off. And you can see it's still kind of thin, but it's light in color. So I'm gonna take this off. And then I'm just gonna fold in my vanilla. And now that my vanilla is folded in, I'm just gonna add all of my flour and just gently fold this in. Okay, now that I have folded in all of my flour, I am gonna put it in a piping bag that you can actually choose the tip. It's not very important for this. It just needs to be open. You can do piped with lines or you can do a perfectly round tip. It really doesn't matter. But I am just going to put this in my bag. Now that my ladyfinger batter is in my piping bag, I'm gonna move this over and grab my baking tray that I've just lined with a piece of parchment paper. And I'm gonna pipe these out in lines. So this is where what you're putting this in kinda comes in handy. I am gonna use a round dish so I could pipe these round, but to show you, I'm gonna show you how you can do it in a square dish. So I am just gonna do as normal and pipe little rows about half of my tray in length and then when I pipe the next one I want it to be about an inch away from each other so I'm gonna do the next one all the way across and then I'm gonna just use all of my batter Now that I have piped out all of my lady fingers, I have just a little bit of powdered sugar in my sifter, and I am gonna dust these pretty heavily all the way around. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, now that I have dusted all of my lady fingers with a little bit of powdered sugar, I'm gonna put these in the oven at 350 for anywhere from eight to 15 minutes, depending on your oven. You'll just see a little golden edge around the bottom. But the most important part of this is only bake one tray at a time. If you double this recipe or make more, you only wanna use one tray in the oven so you don't overcrowd and that these can rise properly. This is the Husky Cup by Urban Dwellers Coffee, which is reusable, sustainable, and actually made of coffee husks. Now that our lady fingers are done and baked, we're gonna work on our cream that goes in between our lady fingers. So to start, I'm just gonna take my heavy cream Put it in our mixer and then whip this on high until we get a nice whipped cream. Okay, now that our whipped cream is whipped, I'm just gonna take this off and set it to the side while we make the rest of our cream. All right, now that my whipped cream is whipped, I'm gonna move on to the next step, which is just separating my eggs. For this recipe, we're only going to use the egg yolks so we can save our egg whites for another special recipe. I'm just gonna to put together my egg yolks and my sugar, and then move over to my double boiler. I've whipped this for two to three minutes and you can see it's really light in color and can almost hold its shape if you just kind of mix it up. So I'm going to turn my heat off, take this out, and then I'm gonna move this over to my stand mixer and whip it just a little bit more. I have whipped my eggs and sugar until they are cool to the touch, and I'm just gonna add all of my mascarpone. And then I am just going to whip this on high as well until it's nice and fluffy. Now that I have whipped this, it's more of a pudding consistency. I am just gonna take half of my whipped cream and fold it in really gently. You just want to add in all this air without whipping it out my mixture. Now that this is almost completely mixed in, I'm just going to take my other half and mix this in as well. Now that I have everything made and ready to go, I have brewed up some of our Urban Dwellers coffee and I have gone ahead and added my sugar so that it dissolved once it was hot. So we have our lady fingers, our cream, and our coffee ready to go. All right, we're gonna start off with our lady fingers, but this is where piping your lady fingers comes in handy. So for your rectangle cakes, these are perfect. For our round cake, I am just gonna take three lady fingers and I'm just gonna trim across the sides so that it fits good in my jar. So this is where when you are piping, you could make circles to go in this, but I'm just gonna cut it. So I'm gonna pick the biggest one for the middle and then take around the side and just cut across and back down. And then you have snacks for later. All right, now that I have cut my lady fingers, I am gonna take 
the two ends and just soak them in our coffee. Just dunk them for a few seconds. And then I'm gonna take them out. And this is where we can put them in our jar on the sides. And then I'm gonna do the big one. Soaking for a few seconds. And then putting it in the middle. They don't have to be touching, but if you want them to, you can go ahead and squeeze another one in there. But for the sake of the video, we're gonna leave them just a little bit apart. So now that I've got my first layer in, I'm gonna just take some of our cream and make a good layer on top. I am just gonna fill up the rest of my trifle dish with our lady fingers and our coffee and then our cream all the way to the top. Okay, we have layered all of our layers to the top. And for the final touch, I just have some cocoa powder that I am just gonna dust on top. These were so fun to make, but now comes the best part, which is trying it. It's so good. We have the perfect smooth, creamy cream with the delicious cocoa powder and the best part, the amazing coffee that Urban Dwellers let us use for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and be sure to come back next time for our next video. Thank you to Urban Dwellers Coffee for helping me make this amazing video.